Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm a filmmaker. No, I'm not really a filmmaker. <laughs> okay, yeah, I am. <laughs> but I am in a gay and lesbian literature class, and I do have a pet stuffed animal named Gangsta Yoshi. The problem is, I don't know what to make my final project on. I know it has to be about something queer because our stories have never been told. Or at least not as much as they should be. So I've been writing blog posts. No, I haven't been writing blog posts, but I've been commenting on blog posts all semester. And I've written one post about a movie called The Watermelon Woman starring a black actress. And recently when I was checking back to reread the comments on my post, I saw the most random, fierce drag queen named Faye Slift. And I just had to click on her picture. Her name, Faye Slift. Is Facelift her first name? Her last name? Any name? I don't know, but Girlfriend has got it going on, and I think I figured out what my project's gonna be on. I'm going to ask random people on the street who she is, what her name is, what type of drag she does, because something in her beard, something in the way she wears her tiara, is interesting. And I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. Hey, excuse me, sir. Uh, I have a quick question for you. Do you have a minute? I guess. Okay, have you ever heard of like a friend of Dorothy? Yes. What does that mean? A lion, a tin man, and a scarecrow. I really don't even know, to be honest. No, but she sounds fabulous. Uh, friends of Dorothy? I mean, not really. Yes, but I don't know what it means. It's something about the dragon. Is that like code for gay? Have you ever heard of a lion, a tin man, and a scarecrow? Yes. Ooh. No. What it comes to mind when you think of those? Uh, the Wizard of Oz. Like, if you were going to call a person one of those terms, what would, what would that imply about them? That they didn't have a brain or a heart. That sounds like an insult. Maybe, like, too flammable. Did they get the birds? I mean, I wouldn't want to walk around being called a lion. Uh, that they were... Brave. The Tin Man would be pretty hard. What if you were talking about a drag queen? Nope, wouldn't apply that. Well, it's hard because they're confident. What kind of classification is that? I have no idea. Uh... They'd have whiskers. I mean, I know somebody who looks like a scarecrow. I guess that could just mean like big hair. They would have like golden locks. They'd be like curly, but not too curly. I guess you could call them a lion. I mean, I've never seen somebody who had a mane and a hairy chest before. Like a broad stance, like they would take up a lot of space. I think lion goes like, isn't it like butch? And then they would um, be more fluid in their motions. And Tin Man would be not as fluid. So, have you ever heard of facelift? Facelift. A facelift? Facelift? Like getting a facelift, like when you're old? No, I've never heard of that, sorry. Well, I have not. No, I have not. Facelifts. I, I think I think I have. Really, really? She does drag shows, right? Yes. Yeah, my brother talked about it. Not my brother's in a drag. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you know like which one of those facelift is? Uh, like which one she would fall under? I think he described it as being more towards the line. I don't get the gender thing, because like all those characters you're describing, they're all men. Do you know of where I could like maybe find more information about this person? I don't know, man, you're the one asking questions. Like Yeah, I just like I'm trying to figure it out. Just Google it. The Google? The Google? The Google. Why didn't I think of that? Turns out Face Lift is a bit less underground than I had originally thought. I spent a few hours watching her perform and then realized it was time to consult the expert. If we think about drag queen archetypes, we could also think back to the phrase Friends of Dorothy, which is code for um, gay men, basically. There are different histories, different lineages of drag. When people think of high drag, they think of wigs, glitter, almost um, 
Vegasy, showgirl y drag, um, high makeup, um, binding, padding. And if we think about stereotypes of drag queens, we can think of people who would fall into the category of the lion. So we have um, outrageous hair, right? Just like crazy lioness hair. Um, we have more of a, um, a walk that is particularly mammalian and um, a little bit soft padded, you know, the, the, the lion is a soft and padded character. If we think about tropes of drag as futuristic drag, we could of course tie them back to the lineage of the Tin Man, of course in keeping with Friends of Dorothy. So if we think about drag that has more of a, um, a sheen to it, something more tight, more constrained, something with um, very difficult to walk in shoes or even maybe binding of the knee, you know, um, that would be, that would definitely fall into the trope of the Tin Man, the trope of futurism. And then of course we have um, <clears throat> country drag. Something along the lines of, you know, scarecrow drag would be drag realness, would be um, using just everyday clothes, of going to the mall, um, picking up your kids, soccer mom drag, of course, um, I've seen a lot of those. And of course there could be Dorothy drag, which is, in my opinion, the most failed drag. To do Dorothy drag is to assume um, a, a position of the child, and so Oh, there's been many, many books written about how children are automatically already gender neutral. So to, to Dorothy drag is really just to to throw up your hands and just say, oh, of course everyone's a drag queen, but you and I know that everyone is not a drag queen. It's you, it's you, it's all for you. Everything I do, tell you all the time. So this appears to be the... Uh, Virgin Mary or the Statue of Liberty but I think in this instance it's the Virgin Mary. Wearing a blonde wig of course makes us think about um, fairy tales, Little Bo Peep, Cinderella, um, the golden locks of virtue. Maybe she's beyond any categorization which I think is probably her legacy and it's really great. It's really interesting. I don't think I'm going to go through that much trouble next time an outsider posts on my class blog. Not even Sharon Bridgeforth. But I have learned that public awareness of drag queens is pretty limited to RuPaul, and Google is omnipotent. So thank you, Faye, for your comment. You have 13 more to write, by the way. Tell you all the time Heaven is a place on